Good happy Saturday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Entertainment News with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, Vanessa Hudson reacts to her first E.T. interview exclusive. Let's take a look at that video from Entertainment Tonight. The Napa Valley Film Festival, Vanessa Hudgens was honored with the Visionary Award, but of course E.T. was with Vanessa way before that. I'm going to do a little E.T. flashback with you. I have a okay. clip here. Oh, I love a flashback. And this is from 2004, your okay. very first oh, E.T. interview. Okay. Take a look at this. Oh, my gosh. Not every day you get to be a rescue hero. What? It's just amazing to see that girls get to do rescue too. <laughs> Who are you, Vanessa? <laughs> Girl, that's what happens when you don't wash your face. So and that's puberty hit. Cool. I'm gonna keep talking about myself and say, yes, girl, you wanted to do action, and now you're in the next Bad Boys. Camo is a high school musical boy band with guns. My yeah. dreams do come true. Ooh, bad Boys for Life. Yeah. Perfect segue, Vanessa. Pew, pew, pew. Will is just like a burst of energy. <laughs> they were like sending gifts to my trailer, like on the weekly, and I was like, this is not normal. This yes. is just too sweet. We love Vanessa even more for bringing back High School Musical at a recent karaoke night. Michelle hosted the celebrity tribute with Vanessa, Kevin Bacon, and Spotlight Award winner Jillian Bell. The two chatted at Raymond Vineyards talking all about her weight loss transformation while shooting Britney Runs a Marathon. I actually lost 40 pounds, 29 pounds before we started shooting, 11 pounds during shooting, which is the last time that will ever happen because craft services are very good. They really are the devil. They're delicious. They're the devil. I ran today. Where the hell you do that? Somebody chasing you a little? Uh, Cheers. Right? We, we have to make the eye contact. Okay. Cheers. I just found out what that means if you don't make the eye contact. What does it mean? Oh, boy. Years of bad luck. Well, uh, no, a fella told me that it means seven years of bad sex. Oh, that's... <laughs> reveals if she'll ever return to Real Housewives of New York and her status with Bethany Frankel exclusive. Let's take a look at that video from Entertainment Tonight. All right, Jill, back for BravoCon on the OG Woo! panel. I uh, heard they made you watch back the We're Done clip on the stage. We're done. We're done. I've said that so many times since you have no idea. I say it all the time. It's part of my vocabulary. We're done. And then we're not done. So is it not hard to watch that stuff back? It's all hard. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's like torture. But you know, you have to have humor in it because it's like, it's so old already um, that in real life I wouldn't even remember it. But of course it has to keep being brought up to me. But yeah, that's who I am. And I don't apologize for it. I was mad. I said we're done. I meant it that moment. That's why you were great for the show. You and Bethany, where do things stand today? Good. good. We're all good. We're actually very good. You know, no peace of love. What did you think of her walking away for a second time? Was it the right choice? Oh, that I don't know. I, was I surprised I was surprised? No, I was not surprised. Um, I, I just wasn't surprised because I think that Bethany always knows when the party's over for her and when she wants to move on, she, you know, owns it and goes. And if she thinks it's a mistake, she'll come back. That's it. All right. So you wouldn't be surprised if she came back either for I a second probably time? probably would be surprised because I think she's done, but what do I know? You know? I, I don't really know. Now, the day she announced she was leaving, immediately people were like, bring Jill back. I Jill's know. coming back. How lucky am I, right? I mean, I can never live up to that. I can never live up to the fans wanting me to come back. But I think I'm done. I mean, I, I, the time is over for me. I, I, I had my run, and I'm very happy I did, and I have a great man in my life, and I'm starting my second act or third act i was married once before and bobby and now gary and i'm very happy not and, and, I, and i think <laughs> we're not married yet not yet and um 
I have a brand that I, I'm building. It takes an enormous amount of energy and time. I'm traveling all the time. I have my rug line, and now I've got, um, you know, I have bedding and towels and, and draperies, and, and you can't imagine 20, and pet, I'm doing a whole pet bossy line. Okay. That's going to be exciting. So I have 27 categories coming out in 2020. I'm really busy. So I don't even, you know, I can't imagine taking any more on. I love going back on the show. They're all my girlfriends. I love them all. And I want to go back once a year or twice a year, whatever it is, and just pop in, um, let them know I'm still alive, <laughs> say hi to my fans, and leave. It's good. Do you ever have FOMO or a little bit of jealousy seeing Luann and Ramona sticking around this whole time on the ride? No. <laughs> no. You know, no. No, because, you know, it's, listen, it's you get and you give being on the show. There's a lot of things you get and there's a lot of things you give up. And I think relationships was a sacrifice that all women on all housewife shows have made. And the statistics showed it. So I don't want that. I got my guy and I'm going to keep him. And I don't want to lose him. And I don't want the show to, you know, put a wedge between us. So I think it's safe, safe for me to just go in a little and come back out. Just keep one toe in the water. If they'll let me, and if they're not, it's okay, because I love Bravo. It's, you know, where I grew up, and uh, as an adult grew up, and um, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have a brand, and I wouldn't have, you know, fans, and it's great. All right. Not married yet, but are we headed toward marriage? Headed toward marriage? Well, let's put it this way. You should not be surprised if we get married, but I think until you do something, like, don't talk about it. Just do it. It takes away from the act, so I'd rather not comment on it, but I'm happier than I've ever been. I'm so fortunate to have met Jill when I did, and it's, um, you know, like I like to say, it's like saving the best for last. We've been married, we have we have children, you know, we're not grown together, children, we've lived a lot of life, um, seen a lot of things, and sometimes if you meet someone before you're really ready, it doesn't work. It's kind of like serendipitous that you want to meet the right person. Very few people, some people meet the right person at the wrong time, but very few people meet the right person at the right time. And things just work. So um, that's where I am. That's where we are. We're in a good place. It you're, sounds like you're in a... Place. We're very happy. And uh, you'll have to watch and see what happens. Okay, and there you go. We will have to see what happens. How Kids Bop has successfully sold over 20 million albums worldwide. I remember when I was little, I bought Kids Bop CDs back in the day. Let's take a look at this video from Entertainment Tonight. So tell me about Kids Bop. What do you know about that? How familiar are you? Well, I know when I'm dancing poorly around my house, it's usually the Kids Bop. <laughs> I like that. You're dancing well, I'm sure. A little Lupita Loca. <laughs> well, it's a massive hit with celebrity parents as well as Matt Cohen. And there are some big reasons why. Kids Bop is the number one music brand for kids. We take all the most popular songs nowadays and we make them kid-friendly. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% my favorite song is probably Truth Hurts. It's on our new album, Kids Bop 40, and it's such a good song. Why you great so you gotta be great? Here's what these kids do. They cover Pop's biggest hits, but without mature subject matter like sex or alcohol. Strawberry champagne on us. Strawberry milkshake so nice. Chrissy Teigen had no idea Kids Bop even changed the lyrics to John's ballad, All of Me. Kids Bop Love your curves and all. How do you feel about that? I mean, it, it makes sense. I'm down. I'm obviously down for a lyric change. <laughs> that squeaky clean formula makes serious money and has a celebrity following. We have it in the car all the time. Your kids are fans. Yes. Just how popular are they? Kids Bop has sold more than 20 million albums worldwide and generated more than 3 billion streams. Their U.S. tours alone have sold more than half a million tickets. Lately, we've been getting recognized. Of, of yeah. yeah. Like this little girl, yeah. she was like playing our like music video on her phone. She's like, look, it's you. Put your heart and your soul and your 
For alums like Zendaya, it can also be a career launching point. But the fun won't last forever. Kids Bop Kids have to be between the ages of 9 and 12. Every three years, they replace the kids. But every Kids Bop kid that has been in Kids Bop is a part of our family. Definitely. Okay, and there you go. Very cool indeed. And now let's take a look at the celebrity birthdays. We're going to see what celebrity birthdays celebrated a birthday today. And happy birthday to all of these celebrities. We hope they all had a wonderful birthday. And that is it for this Saturday evening edition of Entertainment News with Riley King. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Saturday evening. I'll be back here tomorrow for another edition of Entertainment News with Riley King. Good night and bye.